Well, good morning, everybody. Like we said, it's Friday. Thank goodness. I know. Tucson is a fun place to be this time of year with beautiful weather and plenty to do every single weekend. Bobby Rich of the Mix FM Morning Mix is here with the best local event choices for this weekend. Bobby, thanks for being here. Well, ye freaking ha! <laughs> I can tell you're excited about rodeo. Well, of course. Uh, you know, I mean, for a 91 year old rodeo, those people and those horses look pretty young, I think. Uh, they do. They sure you do. don't see a lot of 91 year old <laughs> cowboys. You're Cowboy. Right. No, you don't. The rodeo clowns, man, they're lucky if they live into their 40s. <laughs> I know, they get beat up. It man. Is the truth. <laughs> that is, Why would you pick that as your occupation? That is a horrible it's horrible fun. Job. So, it yeah, it's, uh, it's Fiesta de los Vaqueros. Or the two side rodeo and you know, wrapping up this weekend, final weekend for the rodeo. And I don't know if you're aware of this or not, some people aren't, but it is one of the top 25 pro rodeos in North America. Oh, wow. wow, I did not. That know is that. a big deal. And if you get out there early enough, like around uh, 12 30, 1 o'clock, then you'll be there for the prelims. And the prelims are like the junior rodeo and the famous mutton busting. There's nothing like seeing kids trying to hold on to a sheep. Oh, yeah. While they go right across. That is so much fun to watch. And then the pros start up at 2 p.m. So it's today, tomorrow, and Sunday, last three days. And after the competition, they throw on a barn dance. Oh, fun. So y'all can kick up are your you, heels. Are you a square dancer, Bobby? I am pretty square, but I'm not much of a dancer. <laughs> So you can wiggle a little bit, right, to the music? Is that what? <laughs> I have a feeling you do just fine. No idea fine. what that means. Well, some either, any actually. music, any music going on this weekend? Uh, well, other than the fact you're going to be singing the national anthem at the Monster Truck Show. Well, I sure mm -hmm. am. So Why? Head on down over to the TCC. It's going to yeah. be a blast, actually. I figured that uh, with the with you doing all that stuff, I didn't need to mention the the, the truck show. That's very sweet. We had them on um, yesterday. Yeah, they were on yesterday. They're gonna, it's going to be so fun. A couple of things that are kind of confusing. There's two shows. They both sound like they're the same thing, but they're actually different. Mm -hmm. There's the Peace Fair and Music Festival, mm -hmm. and the Peace Corps. Fair. They're basically at the same time at two different places tomorrow. Isn't that weird? That's a cool These people should yeah. get a little peace going and talk to each other about their events. Exactly. Right. So they, a little agreement. <laughs> so the Peace Fair and Music Festival is a free community day, fun information. It's at Reed Park in the band shell, and that's tomorrow from 11 until 4. And then the Peace Corps Fair, which is over at the U of A in the Student Union Memorial Center, that's where some of the returning Peace Corps members. Okay. come out and there's about 140 of them who have been on their missions and they talk to people get to tell you about what what has been going on with them what they've learned traveling around the world now, see that's a priceless opportunity it is, it's pretty cool yeah. and that, that's basically at the same time tomorrow but uh, between noon and three at the student center everybody's Fun. invited cool. to both events are free public things that's great Can't gives, be a, free. gives the community opportunity to thank them yeah exactly going out there. It's, it's very interesting yeah. to hear what they do now there's a couple of arts and crafts festivals I thought you'd like to know about yeah. this weekend one of them is the one in Green Valley at the Recreation West Social Center and that one is called the Arts and Craft Festival they got about a hundred different artisans going out at that one and uh, also in Oro Valley at the marketplace out on North Oracle the Festival of the Arts so those are two different things uh, in two different parts of our lovely area. Oh, have you ever painted or been an artist yourself? By um, I have painted a little bit, but then I keep slopping it on my shirt <laughs> and uh, get it on my skin, and then it won't come off. And, and it burns. So yeah, so I just hire a guy to come in, and they got one of those big blower things, so they can do the big. Spaces. Oh yeah, those yeah. are cool. Oh, you meant art kind of painting? That's probably. something else. We're you thought I was about. meant painting a building? I thought well, you that did. too. I mean, that can be art in I, and of itself. That's artistic. It is. It requires a, a certain maybe, eye. Maybe your head's in home improvement today. Are you doing some project at your house or something? Uh, probably not. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Always trouble when Bobby likely. Rich is on. <laughs> Oh, um, now, let me tell you about a movie that is in town. You may have heard of it because it's been around for about 18 decades. No, not that long. Lawrence of Arabia. So like one of the most famous movies of, of its era. Mm -hmm. And it was originally the first, I think it was the first movie or one of the first, that was released in 70 millimeter. Wow. So remember now, like movie film is 35 millimeter film. Then they developed 70 millimeter. So it's like the widescreen and big, big stuff, Panavision, Technicolor. There you go. And the Loft uh, Cinema here in town was able to get a hold of one of the uh, 70 millimeter projectors just recently. Whoa. They're, of course, they don't make them anymore, but yeah. uh, because everybody's gone to the digital or the different things. But the Loft actually has one now, and so they occasionally are going to get classic movies on the 70 millimeter film 
this might mean more to you know film buffs or something. Yeah. But still, seeing Lawrence of Arabia, you know, at the Loft in yeah. in 2016. Once in a lifetime. You can't really. beat that. The That's Loft, pretty cool. The Loft is always doing cool things. I like love that. I love the Loft. They they are getting more and more mainstream all the time. Uh, and you know, back in the day, they so were bad. kind of the really odd little quirky movies. Mm -hmm. yeah. They still have those. But now that they have like four or five screens at the Loft on Speedway. Uh, tomorrow at noon is when Lawrence of Arabia will be shown. I've never watched it. I think pretty cool stuff, huh? Actually. Yeah, that's that'd be really fun. Lots. Of, I like that we have a lot to choose from this weekend. That's really variety too. I feel right? like we always yeah. do in Tucson. Yeah. And thanks to you guys, we always know what's going on. So Bobby, thanks for coming. That's on. what it's all about. All right, we'll see you next week. <laughs> that's what it's all, all about. about. Hey, uh, Friday. If you want a pleasant start to your mornings. Make sure you tune into the 94.9 Mix FM every weekday to the morning mix. And to learn more, log on to mixfm.com. Also, we'd be glad to talk about your event next Friday. Just send a message to our Facebook page, and we may even talk about it on air.